Hello, scrappers. Tonight, I'm gonna be uh, cutting the copper out of this. This is a uh, this is a fluorescent light ballast. I'm imagining there's gonna be a lot of that sticky tar stuff in here, but I want to see how much copper's in one of these. I took one of these apart a long time ago, and there was a ton of copper in it. Two and a half pounds, uh, unscrapped. And um, the outer coating here is always tin. And here it's quite dense. There's no like hollow spots in it. So it is definitely completely filled with something. I've always found it easiest to get this bottom plate off first. Just prize up. You can get underneath it. Turn the scanner down. So you guys don't want to hear how crappy my town is and how bad my crime rate is. Google it. Crime rate in North Adams. North Adams, Massachusetts. You'll be surprised. Got the highest crime rate in the state just about. go and I have a feeling I'm gonna make a complete mess we have some tin and this sticky tarry stuff this you can usually give it a few taps and it usually just comes right off I'm not sure if this stuff is hazardous or not. I have a bucket that I started. I've been putting this, uh, gather it all up and putting all this stuff in a bucket. And we'll properly dispose of it. This isn't going to go in the garbage. Sometimes there's a lot of copper in these things and it actually is worth the time it takes. Now it's time for the channel locks. These just pull off. Channel locks suck. We can just tap them off. Ends just come off. Some more ten. If I remember correctly. These break off. Oh, look at that! More tin. Or maybe I should turn the volume up on the scanner. Maybe you guys would be entertained a little bit by how many people they arrest every day. Insane. And this just drives through. See, she's coming out. I dropped my screwdriver. Left, a little right. Stop.
stop right there. Maybe I can just pull them out the rest of the way. I just don't want them going on to the floor, so I have to pick them up again. Because there's going to be a bunch of them. But they fell right on the scale. It's got more tin. That's got some weight to it. Now how you get the copper out of this is... Pound it flat. Ouch. Look at that. Not too bad. The same thing with this one. Pound it flat that way. This one might take a... Slow one's but steady, but it's coming out. I have a lot of really cool things coming up to scrap. I work at a print shop and they're giving me old copy machines to scrap. I got a Xerox 242. It's almost the length of my Honda. I got, I think it's a Rikon. Out in my Nikon, Rikon, forget what it's called. Out in my garden. I have a washer slash dryer, a washer and a dryer, all kinds of nice big stuff to scrap. Coming real soon. Let's see how what we got here. Two pounds. Let's see how much tin we had. A little over a uh, little over a pound and a half of tin for the tin bucket. And a little over a quarter pound of copper. Now this is definitely number two copper, but it all adds up. People think I'm crazy. So as you notice, I got a got a longer board now, so I can put more buckets on it. And I got a start of the bucket for the brass. And I grabbed my bathroom scale out of the other garage. Bathroom scale. My digital scale only goes up to 50 pounds. This scale goes up to 350. So you can put some uh, heavy stuff on here. And I just so happen to have one of my buckets of brass in here. Oh my goodness. And here's my other new bucket of brass. So currently all together brass wise, not quite a hundred. Seventy-seven pounds of brass. Still hoarding it. Scrapyard's not going to get it quite yet. So, uh, just remember, guys, scrap is everywhere. All you got to do is find it, sort it, and hoard it. So, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.